What's up YouTube? It's iPhone time. Today we're going to be doing a quick video tutorial. This is by request to show each of you guys how to add uh, MMS, activate FaceTime, and uh, iMessage to your unlocked iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, or 3GS. Uh, now this works whether you are third-party unlocked with the RSIM 3 or Jevy Ultra S, or if you're factory unlocked, which this one is right here. You will need your device jailbroken, which I've already done. If you don't know how to do it, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube to show you how to do that. So just jump out, jailbreak it, and then come right back. Um, okay, so before we begin, I do want to give a shout out to my buddy Kyle. He did show me this solution. Um, this is by far the quickest, easiest, and most reliable way to go ahead and do this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going, we're going to click Cydia. Then once Cydia is uh, open, you're going to click Manage, and then you're going to click Sources. And then we have to add a repository source. Uh, so click Edit, and then Add, and then we're going to type in it's uh, Cydia, so C Y D I A dot B B Y Scroopy, so B B Y S C R O O P Y dot com. Okay, now once this source is added, so go ahead and take a good look at that. Once that source is added, we are going to go ahead and click Add Source. Now it's going to kick us back to this black screen where it's going to go ahead and add that source to our Cydia. Um, so once this is finished, and this does go by fairly quickly, it will prompt us to return to Cydia down here at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and click that as soon as it pops up. So there we go. Now you will see the uh, Cydia, Cydia.bbys groupie or bb excuse me, cydia.bbyscroopy.com. Uh, we're going to click that. The second one down is the i5 MMS. We're going to click that, install, and then confirm. Now, again, it will kick us back to this black screen. It will go ahead and, and install this into our phone. Um, once it is installed, it will have us respring, which we'll click down here at the bottom. It will quickly respring. And then you will notice that here on your home screen that you have a new icon. It is the i5 MMS icon. We are going to go ahead and click that. And then uh, right here, it gives us the option to donate. I don't know who BBY Scropey is, but this is a pretty cool program. So if you feel so inclined to donate and support him, then go ahead and do so. Um, then down here at the bottom, we're going to cl click I5 MMS. Now that pops up and tells us, uh, just as a reminder, to patch the comm center. Um, now down at the bottom, you will see comm center. I'll click that. Mine is already patched. Now, if you have a CDMA iPhone 4S that you've unlocked with the RSM 3 or the Jevy Ultra S, chances are the comm center is already patched. If not, it will give you the option to patch the comm center. Then you'll want to go ahead and return back into the i5 MMS uh, icon so that you're back on this screen. The first thing that we are going to activate or add uh, to our phone is... Uh, FaceTime plus iMessage, so we'll click that and then we're going to click Enable Features. It's going to respring our device and then the next thing that we have to do after that, slide to unlock, go into your settings. We want to scroll down and select FaceTime. We will turn on our FaceTime, which will go ahead and activate it. Then we want to go ahead and activate our iMessage. So we'll go into Message and then turn on iMessage. Okay, now this may take a minute or two to activate, but once it is activated, you uh, will be able to FaceTime to other iOS devices and you will be able to send um, iMessages to other iOS 5 devices. Um, obviously, if you're running a 3GS, you're not going to be able to FaceTime because they don't even have a camera in the front, but the iMessage will still work for you. Um, now the next thing that we need to go ahead and uh, take care of is uh, we want to set up the MMS. So if you're on T-Mobile, you'll select that. If you're on Simple Mobile, you'll select that one. So we're going to go ahead and click T-Mobile. I choose option number two. Now this is your APN settings. So we're going to go ahead and click Apply Settings, which is also going to uh, respring the device. Once it's resprung, we want to go into Settings. We're going to go to General. We're going to go to Network and we are going to go to Cellular Data Network. Now you will notice that some of this is populated, but the whole thing is not populated. The way that we populate the, uh, all three areas is to hit reset two times. Now on the second time you will notice that uh, the rest of the APN settings will show up there. So at this point now your MMS messaging is enabled and you will be able to send picture messages. And then I'm going to show you before I let you guys go there is uh, one more cool thing that I'm going to add and that is it gives you the option right here to add a T-Mobile logo. Now this is the T-Mobile logo that it adds and it actually adds that right up at the top so it doesn't look so plain. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Now sometimes it shows up right away which it did for me. Uh, sometimes it will still look the same. Now, if it still looks 
the way that it did before, all you have to do is just go back into the i5 MMS. Uh, you're going to click T-Mobile Add Option 2 one more time, and then it should, when it respring's, uh, show up again at the top. Um, now, if you're on, if you're running version 5.1.1 or version 5.1, I will say. I, I'm not exactly sure why it does this, but when you shut off the phone or you pop out your SIM card, sometimes it does delete those APN settings. I haven't figured out a way to get them to stick. Sometimes they will stick and sometimes they don't. I've only seen this issue with iOS 5 and iOS 5.1.1, so I don't know what Apple did, but it doesn't matter if your phone's factory unlocked or if it's third-party unlocked with an RSIM or a Jevy, uh, but it, it will do that. So all you have to do, if, if you uh, turn on your device and you realize that you can't send MMS, uh, just go back in and do the same process process again. Uh, again, it doesn't take any time at all, so shouldn't be too big of a deal. But if any of you guys uh, do have any solutions where you can get those settings to save every single time, even when you reboot the, the device, please leave it in the comments for us. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, iMessage, MMS, and FaceTime are all activated on this phone now. Plus, we have this cool T-Mobile icon up at the top. Um, so there you go. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, feel free to email me if you have any questions for me. If you have any uh, suggestions for future videos, also uh, let me know. I love doing request videos, which this one was. You guys have been asking me for this one, so here you go. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and favorite my videos. For other cool, neat tips and tricks with uh, iPhones and other Apple devices, please visit my other videos. And uh, have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so much for your time.